Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GMAT <coughs> out of this book here, excuse me. Out of this book here, the GMAT review, the official guide, 12th edition. Uh, if you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You should be able to find it at mba.com. Let's take a look at it. The problem that I'm about to solve, you will find it on page number 184, problem solving number 220. Now if you happen to own the older edition, the 11th edition, you will find the exact same problem in the 11th edition. Uh, in the new edition, or 12th edition, it is on page 184, in the, in the older edition, the same problem appears on page 185, problem solving number 237. So those are the two texts that I'm going to insert on the video to, for you to be able to search for it. Let's take a look at it. It's important that you have the book in front of you, otherwise you will not follow it. Turn to the page number uh, and uh, turn to page number 184 if you have the 12th edition or 185 in the older edition and read the problem with me. It says, a part-time employee whose hourly wage was increased by 20% decided to reduce the number of hours work per week so that the employee's total weekly income would remain unchanged. In other words, uh, I have an employee whose uh, hourly wage was increased by 20, 25% and as a result he decided that he should cut down his hours so that he earns the same amount of money as he was earning before. The question simply is what percentage, by what percentage should the number of hours worked be reduced? So if the hourly wage up by, uh, went up by 25%, let's take a look at the answer choices first before I, before I tell you what I'm going to do it. There is a classical way of solving this problem with the algebra, the proper way, and then there is a quick and dirty way of solving this problem. I'm going to show you the way I would solve the problem in the real exam if I were taking the real exam. And then if you insist on solving the problem in the, in the proper way, I'm going to show you that way also. Let's look at the answer choices. The guy's, the guy's wage was increased by 25%. His hourly wage was increased by 25% and therefore the suckers of the world are going to sit there and say, well, if you, if you want to earn the same amount of money as before, your wage went up by 25% and therefore your hours is going to go down by 25%. The number of hours that you work is going to go down to 25% so that it's a wash. It's a sucker answer. That's the sucker answer. Answer choice C is for the suckers. I'm going to also cross out D and E. Just because, just because you increase his hourly wage by 25%, and if he wants to keep his take, if he wants to keep his earnings at the same level as before, just because you increase his hourly wage by 25%, does not mean he's going to start working half as many hours. It also does not mean that it's going to cut down by his hours by 75%. That is ridiculous. It's not going to happen. You have to use your logic. You have to use your, you have to use your gut feeling, your intuition when you're solving the problem. Don't just behave in a mechanical and a robotic way and start, have, start having uncontrollable urge to solve every single problem. I'm just telling you what I would do. Answer has to be either A or a B. What does A say? 12.5%. And B says 20%. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start uh, plugging in some numbers and see what see what happens. Okay. So listen to what I have to say here. So, see, here is my here is my old number of hours that, that the guy was working. Old hours. Well, here's the old situation. Here's the new situation. Here's the hourly wage. And here's the hours work. Of course, in the real exam, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and make this bloody chart like that. I'm, uh, I'm just doing it for your benefit. You just have to do it out yourself quickly. So make up some hourly wage. I'm just going to give them $100 an hour. Why $100 an hour? Because it's easier to work with in terms of percentage, okay? And uh, since his hourly wage went up by 25%, his new hourly wage is going to be $125 per hour. How many hours was he working before in a week? Let's pretend he was working 100 hours. All right? The question is, what is this guy right here? 
And as I told you before, the answer choice, correct answer choice, whatever it is, whatever the correct answer choice is, it has to be either this or that. So let's let's try try the twenty percent because twelve and a half percent actually is is quite messy to work with. So the hours work. B says he's going to reduce by uh, he's going to reduce his number of hours that he's working by twenty percent. We know it's not not twenty five percent because as I already told you, that's a second answer. So if you if he was working hundred hours before and if he reduces by a twenty percent, how many hours is he working now? Eighty hours. Figure out what is this time this and this time this. As long as they are the same number of dollar amount, then the answer is correct. Hundred times hundred is ten thousand, and hundred and twenty times time hundred and twenty five times eighty is also ten thousand. How do I know that? Because hundred and twenty five times four, hundred and twenty five times two is two fifty, times four is going to be five hundred, and therefore times eight is going to be one thousand, and then another zero is going to be ten thousand. That's all. The answer is B. That's all. And if you didn't, if you didn't like this approach, here's another approach. Okay, this part we know that he was working 100 hours before. He was working 100 hours before, and he was getting 100 dollars per hour. Then he cuts the. Then his new wage we know for a fact is 125, because his hourly wage went up by 25, uh, 25 percent, and just. Instead of instead of pick, picking one and trying it out, just put an x there and just solve this equation for x. Very simple. Therefore, x equals to 100 times 100 over 125. That's all. Let's see what does what does that give us. 125. If you divide by five, that's that's a five. Uh, if you divide by 25, that's a five, and that's a four. And then 25 will go into 100 20 times. There you go. 20 times four is going to give me 80. That's what we said here. These are his new hours that he's working. New hour, hours worked. The new hours that he's working is 80. In other words, the number of hours that he's working went down by 20%, which is why the answer is 20. Now, if you like, if you insist, I'm going to do the problem one more time. So I've shown you so, so far, I've shown you two different ways of doing it. I'm going to do it one more time. And uh, this time I'm going to do it in the classical way. Just give me a second. I am already eight minutes into the clip, so I have to wrap it up very quickly because I have to keep it under 10 minutes. So as I said before, there are two ways of solving this problem. One is what I call the classical way, the orthodox way, the traditional way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the proper way, the academic way, the algebraic way, the way that will make your math teacher proud. And this, this is another way, which is a quick and dirty way. Let's do in the way that will make your math teacher proud only if you're hell-bent on making your math teacher proud. Whether or not your math teacher will be able to actually sit there and admire your work in the GMAT is a different story altogether. I would not, I, I personally would not do the work that I'm about to do in the real exam. But here we go. So here's the hourly wage, W. Here's the number of hours that you work working. The new hourly wage, since it's 25% more than W, it's going to be 1.25 W. That's your new hourly wage. And you simply have to find out how many hours you are working now, the new hours. I, I'm just going to put a multiplication slide with the dots because X represents the new number of hours worked. So if you like, in terms of in terms of the symbols here, this is your old hourly wage, old hourly wage. This is your W here. This is the number of hours that you were working before. The old hours work, hundred here. That's your H here, and then 1.25 times W. That's this. You see, 1.25 times W is going to give me 125. So this is 1.25 times W. And X is what I'm calling this guy. Let's solve for X, that's what it is. If I have the time, if I don't, I'll just stop it. All right, let's solve for X then. So X equals W times H over 1.25 times W. W's cancel out. And as you can see there, 1. And since since this is a percentage problem, you see that's where that's where that's where the confusion. Let's let's multiply the top and the bottom by 100. If I multiply top number by 100, it becomes 100 edge, and this 1.25 becomes 125. Reduce it, and it becomes 4 fifth edge, which means the number of hours, the new number of hours that you're working, is 4 fifth of the old one. Hence, you reduce your number of hours that you're working 
by 20%. I hope you help. Uh, I hope that you have found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring or to buy my DVDs or to buy the solution manuals, go to my website at www.preppreppreppfor4gmat.com and send me an email. All right. Thank you.